Hello and welcome to the Cisco DevNet channel. Today we continue a video series highlighting the latest cloud security API features. In today's episode, we will be looking at how to navigate different types of secure access reporting APIs together with Yaron Kaspi, API product manager at Cisco. Hi, Yaron. Hi, Alexei. Thanks for having me. And let's dive right into things because in some of the other videos, we've already talked about how we handle authentication and where to find documentation and things like that. So just maybe one thing that's worthwhile mentioning. Um, when you set out to get data from secure access, um, there's more than one option. There are a whole bunch of tools. You can see the different tools and the breakdown of different use cases and best practices around which tool to use in our documentation right underneath the API reference reports and reporting overview section. Now, another thing that's really worthwhile mentioning is when you create your API keys, you need the correct access scopes for the different types of reports. So just for example, here, I've selected aggregations, which are like high level uh, APIs, API usage and app discovery. You can see these three scopes are selected um, for my API keys. And once we have our API keys, we can start making our requests. So I am just gonna share my terminal. All right, you should see my terminal right now. That's great. And let's get started. So remember, this is auth2. So our first request here is, of course, to get our access token. Remember our access token? It expires in one hour. And we have a video which shows how you can implement best practices in refreshing it. Great. We have our access token. So now let's take a look at a super, super high level request. It's underneath that aggregation section. Here we go. And I'm just going to parse this with JQ to make it nice and pretty. All right. So all in all, we have 32,989 requests to secure access within the last day, right? I'm using a relative time frame here. OK, great. Another example of a high level uh, endpoint or an aggregation endpoint is the top identities one. So let's just take a look at this. And here we go, access token, once again, just parsing it with JQ. Here we go. So um, I only asked for one here in this case, but we have a network here that is called proxy chain SSC prod one. Uh, we can see how many requests we have, how many were allowed, how many were blocked. Uh, and so on and so forth, right? Super cool, super useful for like high level reports, KPIs, widgets, things like that. Um, one last example, maybe um, a different type of report, uh, which requires a different type of access scope, app discovery. So here we're gonna call reports v2 app discovery applications. Again, use the same access token because our API key has this. and prettify it with JQ, and there we go. Here's an application, for example, called Blackboard Ally, right? We can see that we only had four DNS requests. None of them were blocked, and we can see some more information. Of course, we can dive much further deeply into each one of these, but hopefully this video was useful in showing you the different types of reports that exist and how you can set your API keys to access them. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron.